Well, hello. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Oh my goodness. It's so wonderful to be alive. It is. And you know what? You're blessed. You're blessed. You're not cursed. You're above, not beneath. You're the head, not the tail. You're rich, you're not poor. Wealth, come to me, call it, call it, call it like it's your dog that belongs to you, call it. Here, wealth, here, wealth, come to me, wealth. Here, healing, here, healing, come to me, healing. You belong to me, healing. Who do you want to be today? Who do you say you are? Don't you dare say that you're the problem. No, you are not. You go to God and you ask him for wisdom because he said that if you do that, he'll give it to you. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Your word says that I can come to you boldly before the throne of grace and ask you for wisdom and that you're more than happy to give it to me. So thank you, Father God. I believe I receive your wisdom in this situation that I'm in, in Jesus' name. Oh, God wishes that you win. Don't you dare sell yourself short and say, well, uh, my marriage is over because um, it never worked before and, 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 and how could it work now? Well, you're right, but you're wrong. You got to remember, what were your actions before? What were your spouse's actions before? I'm quite sure both of you were what? Ding, 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 ding. Wrong. I know I was. Anybody who's honest, you look at your relationships. You look at where there's a problem. And, and you cut people off. But did you do everything right? Sure. Everybody said some stuff. If you say you didn't, you're a liar. You're a liar and you're going to be exposed. And then I and Sapphira, what did they, what, why did they drop dead? Not because they wanted to keep some money, honey. No. They lied about it for the pride of it. It was pride after pride comes a what? A fall. Kaboom. Death. Destruction. Says after pride comes a fall and then destruction. Wake up. Smell the coffee. Tis what it is, chug a lug. Tis what it is. Try to keep up, Toby. Aww. <laughs> It's all coolio, Julio. Jesus loves you. If you haven't asked Jesus to be your savior, wake up. You need a savior. You can't do it alone. Oh, God. Sorry for laughing, but I'm thinking about the rich all taking off for Switzerland because they vacation themselves out. And all they have left is, you know, Oh, being sponsored for fancy hotels and brands. Their only flex is their price tag, Dopey. Wake up, okay? It's their only flex. Sex has become boring. Everything's boring. <clears throat> Old nude snooze. So now they're going to put themselves in the ultimate bye-bye box <laughs> in Switzerland. Going fast. Price is rising as we speak. Oh, yes. But it doesn't occur to them to help people because they don't care about people. And you have to remember, people, these are the people that are ruling the world. Satan's people. Demonic. Satan is as a roaring lion. He can't read your mind. He's not everywhere. He's not like God. The Holy Ghost is everywhere. He's in you. You're your own prayer closet. You're powerful. But see, Satan doesn't want you to know you're powerful. Number one, there's a vault over this earth. Satan doesn't want you to know there's a vault over this earth. Why do you think there's parameters? Oh, and they just happen to lose. <laughs> um, oh, son of a, mm, where did we put that? How did we get to the moon? Oh, people wake up and look at the footage. Okay. <sighs> it's 
hilarious. Wake up. Okay. Get your ice cream trucks and sell them at the polls while they all go vote. The new circus. Really? The demonic is running the world, the courts, everything. So you have to run your world the way God tells you to. Be your, you are, you are a God. God created you in his image to be a God. To speak your way out of anything. Don't you dare speak that you're the problem. You're the solution to everything. You put God's word in your, your mouth because God's word won't return void, but it will accomplish that which it's sent to do. You have to have root. Mustard seed faith only comes from the word of God. A mustard seed isn't because it's so small. No, a mustard seed can't be changed, can't be altered. God, God's, the root in God's word, God's seed, when you're planting God's seed, it can't be altered, but it will accomplish that which it is sent to do. So I'm here to tell you that you matter. You matter. Who do you say you are? Who do you want to be? How do you see yourself? How do you want to see yourself? Not what somebody else wants of you, but what's inside of you? What's your dream? God put that there. You're special. Start treating yourself like you're special. Today, do something special for you because you matter. You matter. You matter. And people will see that you care about you because God wants you to care about you. You're special. You're tenderly and beautifully made. You have a gift inside of you that nobody else has. Just you. Just you, precious one. Just you. And Jesus loves you. Learn to appreciate you and even the trauma that you've come from. Don't take the trauma with you, but rise above that trauma. Look down on that trauma. And now make that, that situation obey you. You're not who you were yesterday. God's mercy is new every morning. Read God's word. Watch Charles Caps. Learn who you are in Christ. You're blessed. You're not cursed. You're not trying to be blessed. Your behavior is not going to make you blessed. Not that I'm saying to have bad behavior. No. 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 Be good, be loving, be kind. Think on things that are lovely and good and pure and tender. You're beautiful. God has homes for you. He said so. Homes that you didn't build. And the blessing is a gift from God just because he loves you. He's a loving father. So any anytime anybody says that God did this or God did that, no. No, God blessed you. All you got to do is accept Jesus because he blessed Abraham. It was a gift. And if you're in Christ, you're part of that seed and you're blessed. So who doesn't depend on your behavior? It depends on your choice. Did you receive Christ? Now, are you reading God's word? Finding out who you are in Christ and what belongs to you. Woohoo! Whoop, whoop! You're a winner. You don't have to use anybody. If you don't really love somebody, let them go. They deserve to be loved. But if you do love somebody and things got mm -mm -mm, demonic, because Satan is as a roaring lion and he attacks here and there, he can't read your mind. He can only do, if you start doing the word or somebody starts praying, he's got to leave. So if you've been attacked and you've been fooled, then attack it with the word of God and take it by faith and get your family back. Don't let Satan take your family. Ooh, wake up, everybody. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. And remember, forgive. Because what you don't forgive, you're going to turn into. I love you. Jesus loves you. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. Woo.